All right, I'm going to the store. Anybody need anything? Yeah, can you get me a chess set and a backwards hat? I got some inner city school kids I got to inspire tomorrow. Hey, Lois, doesn't uh, somebody have a birthday coming up this week? Oh, that's nice of you to remember, Brian, but frankly, I'd rather let this one slip by. I don't need to be reminded how old I'm getting. You know, it's funny. You keep so busy with your kids, time just seems to slip away, and then you turn around one day and you... Okay, bye. Stop making noise. <sighs> you know, Peter, I know Lois is downplaying it, but I think she might actually appreciate it if we threw her a party. Maybe even a surprise party. That's a great idea, Brian. Yeah, I love parties. I mean, I had a great time at my baby shower. <laughs> Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go. Get ready for blast off. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, Stewie, are you all right? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. What the deuce? Well, hello there. I say, you're a cute little fellow. Tell me something. What do you think about Rose McGowan? <laughs> Yeah, she makes my turtle head go in, too. How about Michelle Rodriguez? Yeah, me too. Kind of, right? You know, she's got like a cute tomboy thing where you feel like you could play softball with her and then later on give her the old sausage. I like you. I can tell we're going to be good friends. We've got that unspoken bond that all bald guys have. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, you guys, that was Lois. She's going to be here in ten minutes. Dad, how did you get Mom out of the house so we could decorate? Well, Chris, I constructed a very elaborate fake grocery store. Oh, my God. Are these pickles really only 39 cents? That's right, ma'am. Wow, this is incredible. And over here are my toys. This is my fire truck, my slinky, my silly putty. You know, silly putty's awesome, but you know what's really cool? Serious putty. Hey, Stewie, better come down. The party's about to start. What is that? Is that a turtle? Yes, Brian, I found him at the park. I named him Sheldon. Oh, and get this, I brought him home today, and coincidentally, this is the day Rupert started working out again. So transparent. Rupert, what happened to your eye? Brian, did you pull one of Rupert's eyes off? No. Well, come on, let's get downstairs. Lois will be here any minute. <laughs> to my dearest Lois on her birthday, what a journey we've had together. You know, life has a way of changing things. What were once two firm, impressive mountain peaks have become a barren, strip-mined, muddy landslide that droops ever downward. What were once pink and succulent rose petals now take the form of the shredded, raggedy, blown-out end piece of a practical joker's exploding cigar. Uh, Peter, that, that's enough. Lois, you may not be the young filly you were when I met you. To Lois! To, to Lois! Lois! Mom? Jeez, what the hell's her problem? Peter, she was already feeling insecure about her age, and then you went and gave her that horrible speech. I don't blame her. Nobody likes to be humiliated in public. I'm King Stewie. I rule with an iron fist. La 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 la. Look at me. Ooh -hoo -hoo. In my office, now. What the hell? Hey, slacks. OMG, stop staring at me, please. Hey, thanks. Mom, are you okay? Lois, what's going on? I'm what's going on, Peter. I got highlights, I went shopping, and I had my... So it's tighter now. Hey, Tweeps. JK, I don't follow you. You're lame. But look who just got herself a sick new tat. Oh, my God, Mom! I know. I can't believe it either. I guess one of my flaws is I'm just kind of brave. No, that's great, actually, because now anyone walking behind you will know that you had $60. Except it's not paying someone to install a PlayStation in a car. Lois, you do know that's permanent. Good. Then that means my ass is gonna look young forever. Take me out of this disgusting French hospital and find me some real parents. Ah! Paper cut! A razor blade? Who the hell uses a razor blade as a bookmark? All right, very funny, Stewie. What? What do you mean, what? You replaced my Jack Daniels with Flat Diet Coke. Just stay away from my booze. It wasn't me, Brian. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on around here lately. Just yesterday, somebody gave Peter a hot butt. But I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for those things. Sometimes... Whoa. That was close. Yeah, how'd that thing fall over? Okay, who replaced my glasses with forks? I mean, they're real good for seeing forks, but not much else. Ah! Sheldon, what are you doing? Get back in your bowl where you belong.
Well, as long as I'm up, I might as well go spit in Lois's mouth. Sheldon? Yes, I see. Rupert, the man from the newspaper would like a quote from you about my dancing abilities. Rupert? Where'd you go? Ah! Ah! Rupert! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! If he did this to you, I swear I'll kill him! And what's that box from Bloomingdale's doing here? I, uh... I, I don't know who this is. Well, well, look who has surfaced. You're getting colder. Hey, get out here and fight me! Now batting, Stewie Griffin! Oh, crap. Ugh, you look like a nude Larry David. No, no, no! Oh my god, Super Mario! What are you doing here? I jump on a turtle, Stewie. It's not an exciting life, but it's my life. Peter, can you come down to the laundry room? <sighs> Son of a bitch, if she washed my belt again, I am gonna hit her with my dry withered belt. What is it, Lois? I was watching. Oh, Lois! What the hell are you doing? Do me, Peter. Do me right here in the basement. Just get over here and kiss me. Let's have sex on all the clean, folded laundry. Well, Lois, I gotta say, I like this new you. I like it a lot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter! <laughs> This yeah, laundry. Yeah. What makes bra in your mouth? Oh my god, that's so disturbing! I know, gross! Yeah, and my hearing's a lot better, so I hear, like, suction and stuff. People of the world are washing their cars on their lunch breaks. Homes and extravagant best they can in skirts and suits. I drive their shiny dots and some Buicks. Because all I want to do is have some fun. <laughs> Uh, you think they sell anise in at the bar? Come on, get up and dance with me, Peter. This place is sick. Hells yeah! It is the only rooftop pool in Providence. Actually, we are leaving. We're hitting another insane party across town. What, you mean now? Peter, you sound like an old fart. I thought you liked having a hot young wife. Yeah, well, I did at first, but the novelty's worn off. The same thing happened with that blog I started on 9-11. Look, Peter, you do what you want to do, but I'm going to that party. My life isn't over. It's just beginning. So if you don't want to run with the wild horses, then go back to the barn and go to bed. But Lois... The city of Quahog has been stricken with a case of Bieber fever tonight as teen idol and fake black guy Justin Bieber is in town for a sold-out show at the Quahog Civic Center. We now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa with more. Tom, I'm standing here at the Quahog Civic Center, awash in a pool of prepubescent sexual moisture. <coughs> we love you, Justin! What's going on? Do we have to get a new mom now? No, Chris. I'm gonna go get our old mom back. If I'm the one who made her feel this way, then I'm the one who's got to fix it. Brian, keys. Chris, beer. Meg, ugly. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, 
He is so adorable. I could just bite him and eat him up. I know. He's perfect. He's like a boy and a girl. Sorry, you're not allowed in here. Oh, yeah? I'm not into that. Oh. Well, what are you into? Pinkberry. I love my job. Yum, 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 yum. Hey there, cutie. Oh, hey. How's it going? Okay, just get your pants off, hon. Step right there! Get away from her! Peter? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Step away from my wife, you acorn penis beauty! Look, I swear, nothing happened. Just relax, old man. Old man? What, you think you are not gonna get old, you little bastard? <coughs> and Lois, I've had enough of you two. Now you come home and start acting your age. No, Peter, I don't wanna act my age, and you don't want that either. Otherwise, you wouldn't have called me an old plow hole. Well, I thought I did. I mean, every guy who's been married a while thinks he wants a hot young chick. But after you spend an hour with one of them, you want to blow your brains out. But, Peter, I was just doing this to make you happy. You do make me happy, Lois. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's sweet. But you gotta admit, I'm not what I used to be. Well, neither am I. I used to be a lion tamer. Mr. Beaver, they're calling for an encore! Oh my god, those kids are expecting a show. I'll handle this! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Beaver. Sure is good to have you back, Mom. Yeah, we missed you. Well, thanks for putting up with me, you guys. Sorry I got so flipped out about my age. Oh, I don't worry about it, Lois. But from now on, remember, I love you just the way you are. And besides, there's nothing wrong with being 35. Peter, I'm 43. Get out of this house. <laughs>